Hey everyone, Doug here with b &H. It's Doug at the Cinemas. Today we're looking at a pair of 4K projectors. These are the PX1 and the PX1 Pro, both from Hisense. And they're 4K ultra short throw laser projectors. Home theater enthusiasts are gonna love these things as they bring some of the best images you can get into the living room. And they embrace the latest in projection technology for some truly stunning cinema accurate images. Just to throw a quick number out there, these projectors can reach 107% of the Rec 2020 color space, which is far beyond what many traditional displays can achieve, and even some other projectors. These two projectors share almost all of the same key specs, but the Pro unit, which we'll focus primarily on today, it's just behind me, is just a little bit brighter and notably has support for Dolby Vision HDR. So we've got two projectors here, and they're honestly quite similar. In fact, it's pretty nice to see that the same color processing, gamut, smart TV features, connectivity options, and sound quality are present on both projectors. To get a little more specific, that means you get 4K HDR projection with support for, like I said, 107% of Rec 2020 color, which brings the highest possible color reproduction on HDR content. Features such as game mode and filmmaker mode are also present on both models, meaning you'll have the low latency response times when you need it, and cinema accurate colors just as the director intended. So what makes the PX1 Pro so pro? It really comes down to the inclusion of Dolby Vision HDR, which is a premium HDR format available on select content. Adding to this, the PX1 Pro also has a slightly higher output of 2200 lumens versus the PX1's 2000 lumens. There are also a few external physical differences as well to make the Pro unit stand out a little bit, but seeing as the two units are very similar, even both reaching 90 to 130 inches of coverage, we're gonna focus on the PX1 Pro today and gauge the overall experience with the projector. So let's just fast forward a little bit. We just finished giving the PX1 Pro a test run on a few different video sources. This projector has got a lot to play with, but picture quality, especially with a variety of content, is always the most important thing to consider. Now, yes, this is a beautiful HDR capable projector, but the reality is that the majority of content out there is still in standard dynamic range. So I've brought over a mix of 4K SDR and HDR clips and played them directly from the projector over a USB stick, ensuring maximum quality. To be frank, SDR content looks incredible here. Running in the PX1 Pro's standard mode, it takes advantage of the expanded color gamut, but also includes some motion smoothing and denoising options on by default, which I turned off for our demos. It honestly does a fantastic job of bringing the SDR Rec. 709 footage into a wider color space. Though, personally, I'd recommend dialing the saturation down just a bit. Vivid mode takes the saturation even further, so I wouldn't use it necessarily. This presentation, of course, isn't really accurate to a true SDR image, but that's what filmmaker mode is for, and we'll get to that in a bit. HDR content, meanwhile, literally shines. Highlights pop from every little detail of the frame, and it certainly helps that this projector is tack sharp in its 4K projection. That, of course, applies to SDR and HDR. I made custom HDR graded footage for this demo, and it's kind of breathtaking to see it really come through on the PX1 Pro with its 2200 lumens. Much like the SDR mode, the HDR mode also has a standard and vivid mode, but with standard essentially being a native HDR presentation here, it never felt oversaturated like the SDR mode did. That of course brings us to filmmaker mode, which is where things get a little more complicated. Filmmaker mode is an agreed upon standard for display manufacturers that disables all forms of motion smoothing and image processing, while keeping color adjustments to neutral positions. This is intended to give the most truthful presentation of the original image without any change in the color gamut, the brightness, the contrast, or anything like that. Now, filmmaker mode does indeed accurately show the original colors of the footage, but for me personally, it actually revealed how some of the colors in my original grade were. The image was darker as it should be, but the color separation showed how skin tones and shadows were tinted in a way that I didn't realize at first. Now, for anything graded professionally, this is probably the way to go if you want the real colors on display, and they should look good. In my personal opinion, however, the standard mode is much more enjoyable as it takes advantage of the PX1 Pro's full gamut. With SDR footage, like I said before, just dial back the saturation a bit and you should be good. For HDR footage though, you can leave the colors alone, but do disable the motion smoothing, denoising, and dynamic contrast. 
Lastly, we've got game mode. We've hooked up a Steam Deck here for easy playing, so the tests are all in SDR, but the real magic here is in the latency. Game mode is similar to filmmaker mode in that it disables all motion and image processing, thus decreasing the time it takes for the projector to show a frame. This translates to faster response time and thus lower latency. The nice thing about the PX1 Pro's game mode, though, is that it doesn't sacrifice the projector's gamut or brightness. You can still get a gorgeous, colorful image here, but again, I recommend dialing back the saturation just a bit. So as ultra short throw projectors, the PX1 and PX1 Pro have a very low to the ground profile that accommodates the laser projection system and is designed to keep a short distance to your projection screen. In terms of dimensions, they're in fact equal. You're looking at 20.5 inches by 12.8 inches by 6.3 inches, with the projectors both coming in at 20.3 pounds as well. The backsides are also extremely similar with Get this, coaxial inputs on both for cable antennas. After that comes the digital audio TOSLink connection, two HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which supports eARC, a USB-A connector, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, serial connection for remote control, and an ethernet port for wired internet connectivity. As you can see, there are two service ports on board as well. Both the PX1 and PX1 Pro feature Android TV on board, bringing smart TV functionality, streaming apps, Chromecast compatibility, and countless Android apps to your home theater. This is also an easy way to demo some gorgeous 4K HDR content if you don't have something like a UHD Blu-ray player, for example. Plus, it gives you easy integration with your smartphones and tablets. Both units also work with Google and Alexa, along with Control 4. Lastly, one of the really nice things about the design of ultra short throw projectors is that they allow for robust soundbars to be positioned in the rear of the unit, so facing you. Both projectors here come equipped with a 30 watt soundbar providing Dolby Atmos sound for impressive surround sound reproduction. The output and clarity is impossible to convey in a video, of course, but trust me, it fills the room. Home theater enthusiasts with their own dedicated sound system can rest assured though, as the eARC function on the first HDMI port allows full uncompressed audio to pass through back to your sound system. Look, I love going to the movies, but projectors like this make the strongest argument yet for just staying home and enjoying a presentation. I simply couldn't imagine this just a few years ago, and I'm sure neither could you. The Dolby Vision HDR and maximum brightness of the PX1 Pro makes for some really astonishing picture quality, and even 1080p, which is standard these days, SDR content literally shines with the enhanced color gamut of the Trichroma engine. Ultra short throw is the way to go these days if you ask me, especially if you're in a smaller place, as it gives you the sheer size of a projected image without the distance and room size required by a traditional projector. So that's it for the Hisense PX1 and PX1 Pro. Let us know if you'd deck out your home theater with these projectors in the comments below. This is Doug with BH, and I'll see you next time.